beef mince oh, that god. is. Girl, why? Why do you have to go there? Mm. The best freshly squeezed OJ. It's really, really good. Hola chicas, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on Tanya Burr, her latest What I Eat in a Day video, and it's had over 600,000 views since January 22nd. And most of those views are coming from young girls, young impressionable girls who are gonna change the world, world for the better or for the worse. It is really, like the young girl demographic is really the most influential demographic that we have, that this planet has. So it's so important that we give out an empowering message. So hopefully Tanya has done that in this video. I haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna watch it with you. It's gonna be a raw reaction and I give you my honest reaction. All right, so let's get into it. And by the way, Tanya has over 3.6 million followers. So she's reaching a lot of people. Hi guys, and welcome to my very first What I Eat in a Day video. I am so excited to be doing one of these. I'm not going to ramble by the way here because otherwise this video will be really long. But if you guys saw my blog post, my New Year's resolutions blog post, um, if you didn't, I'm going to link it down below because that explains lots of the reasons why I wanted to do some What I Eat In A Day videos. But if you did see that, then you'll know that this year, one of my New Year's resolutions was to really like be consistent with like healthy eating and working out and stuff so that I can feel good um, like all the time because I, I explain on the blog more but it's more of a case of like I do eat healthy in, in like little pockets but then I'll do like a whole two weeks of eating unhealthy and then it makes me feel really bad so my goal this year is to being to such a late time at night that she's going to bed quite late um, yeah we'll see because it's, it's really not good for your weight or your health have arrived now um and so is kate she just wanted to go and get the door we're not sure who it is we're not expecting anyone else maybe it's a parcel oh i did order a shower cap <laughs> <laughs> i know that's so like old lady of me but i get really angry yeah do you have one no no <laughs> it's like it's mint green with like polka dots on it it's probably my shower cap um anyway i'm making porridge now and i'm going to tell you guys how i do it so for myself i usually do um 50, 40 to 50 grams of porridge oats mm -hmm. and then what do i do 200 ml of almond milk so there's four of us today Good. so i just basically need to times that by four so i'm going to do 200 grams of these oats go in the pan this is the rude health ultimate. i've got in there all of my oats and almond milk they're just going to go on this this is my ready i'll just show you guys what we have so we all have a bowl of porridge um which took about 10 minutes i'd say just kind of leaving it simmering to make it nice and tasty and then we've got some chopped up banana blueberries blackberries like a trail mix raspberries honey a big teapot of tea some people have coffee and then almond butter so loads of yummy topping options Okay, so I think that is a great start, except for the honey. Obviously, you know, the honeybees are to the point of extinction, which means the whole human race is basically going to go into extinction, but that's a whole other video. So I obviously don't agree with the honey. There's so many other sweeteners, so many other sweeteners. You never have to have honey or bee vomit. Um, but fruit, that is great. It's great to see her having fruit. Great to see her having oats. I'm totally supportive of that. I mean, I am like a smoothie girl. I really feel like smoothies are amazing first thing in the morning for everybody, but I'm so happy for her to be having oats and you know, it's vegan except for the honey. Long meeting and now I'm back in the kitchen again to make some lunch. Um, and what I'm going to do is, this is great, and something I love to try and do all the time, is have some kind of meal prep involved. And you'll see later that the thing I'm making for dinner is also what I'm going to have lunch, for lunch tomorrow. And the thing that I made for dinner last night is what I'm having for lunch today. Oh my God, this is so heavy. So last night I made a parsnip soup with some other things in it as well. So I will just tell you guys 
um well that looks so attractive i promise you it tastes amazing um so i'll just tell you guys what i've got in there might hold the camera on me not on the soup because it's not looking its best right now but promise you it tastes great so in here i did a whole bag just like a bag of parsnips probably like six um onion i fried off some onion and garlic in a pan then i put in chopped up parsnip i think i did did you carrot no i did no carrot i did a little bit of butternut squash that i just had left over and i think that was it i think it's mainly part yeah it's parsnip onion garlic butternut squash um then i added in um a really big jug full of vegetable stock sorry this isn't a very specific recipe but i'm just like giving you the idea of what is in my soup so vegetable stock and then i added um turmeric and cumin like a teaspoon of each and then i just let that simmer for about 20 minutes and then i just blitzed it in my thermomix um to make it all lovely and smooth and it's basically the tastiest soup ever so i'm now going to have oh good i think that's that's really awesome I think that is awesome. That's so, so good to see her having a vegan soup for lunch. That's fantastic. Like, I think the only risk here is that, I mean, I would recommend that she has some rice with it as well or some potatoes, al papa, to have some potatoes as well. I think that is important because she's getting more carbs into her body. So, like, this parsnip soup is great and there are carbs in it, but it's easy to under eat on a vegetable soup I have something that is going to leave you more satiated because lunchtime is important you know you middle of the day you want to keep your energy up home now guys and i might look a bit different if my brows look a little bit crazy and strong it's because after my meeting i went and got my nails done went for this red color it's called cheeky i'm not sure what brand it is though and i also got my eyebrows done and i love how the lady did them today i'm absolutely ravenous right now um but it is quite yeah see so she's absolutely ravenous so tanya remember that that ravenous feeling is your brain just saying hey i'm running low on glucose i need some more glucose give me some more carbohydrates basically so that's an important thing to note the dinner time so i don't want to eat that much so i think i'm going to have an apple, Ooh. Oh, an apple. you want an apple too jim yeah. it's not your what you eat in a day it's my what i eat in a day luckily there are two apples left lucky me jim would you like almond butter with it jim uh, nah. i also need to feed martha me right now although it's not her what she eats in a day either see one thing tanya really has to do is to eat enough you know, she needs to get enough calories in or she's going to be binging out. She's going, she's going to be going for the fatty stuff. And that's, thing, that's what contributes to weight gain and to your feeling not your best. So that's why she needs to get in the low-fat, carbohydrate, vegan foods. but let's do this sorry if you can hear the tv by the way jim's watching a film whilst i make some dinner okay so this is jamie oliver's recipe and how it starts is you get some onion and i'm just using this this is really lazy but i got from waitrose the pre-chopped i can already see i can already see eggs in the background here in them really small and they're just fry this off for like five minutes before adding the beef Okay, so I have got some organic British beef mince oh, that is- Oh god. Girl, why? Why do you have to go there? Like 10% fat's quite a lean beef mince. Um, and I'm now going to add that to the pan. And then once- Oh man. Beef. Cow, by default, is going to always be fatty, okay? That saturate, sorry, saturated animal fat is throughout the flesh. You cannot avoid it. It doesn't matter whether it says 10% fat, 5% fat, anything like that. It is super fatty for the human body, and it's not designed to go in there. It's extremely bad for your health. You have to remember this, okay? The saturated animal fat, uric acid, pathogenic bacteria, there's so much nasty stuff in this death in there i'm just going to break it up and just brown it off i think that's the official way of saying it okay i actually find it really hard to watch i find it hard to watch so let's just like move on they look good don't they we dropped one in those and then will you fill this up to the then also for like i mean like this dish here is really really good without the death she doesn't need to put in the beef. There is no need to put it in. You're not going to have a protein issue. You know, you're not going to have some deficiency because you're not putting um, this slaughtered animal in your meal. 
So please remember that, okay? Let's move on, because um, I don't want to see that anymore. Tanya, this is a fantastic meal, but leave out the death. Don't do that to your arteries. There's no need to, to contribute to the death of an animal and to also kill your arteries at the same time. That's all I can say, really. Like, like the whole day has been fairly surprising, actually. I feel like Tanya is going in the vegan direction a lot more. Hopefully, my video that I made on her had an influence on her. I can definitely see a change in how she's eating, but the fact that she's still having cow um, is it's really disappointing, but it's... Some people need one step at a time. Okay, so that's my video for today. Tanya, definitely come and live with me. I can show you the ropes of this lifestyle. You won't believe how much you can eat on this lifestyle and still stay slim. I mean, I'm over a decade in eating as much as I care for, never ever calorie restricting, and obviously I'm slim, slim as. And I don't do a lot of exercise, and I sit around most of the day. But I, I'm eating the right calories. I'm eating the right foods, okay? I'm not eating the death and the saturated animal fat and the cholesterol and all the pathogenic bacteria and all that nasty stuff. I'm not putting that into my body. I'm putting all the plant foods, all the living plant foods and the carbohydrates, the low fat vegan carbohydrates. They're the foods that are gonna make you slim and healthy, feel and look your best. All right guys, that's my video for today. Leave any comments down below that you have. Let Tanya know that I made this video and that she should definitely come and live with me. All right, love you guys. I'll see you next video.